Can you hear that? Listen, and you'll hear how God made the world. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Make yourself small, very small. The world was empty and covered by dark, deep waters. We're in the darkness now. It's dark and it's so cold. But God's Spirit was hovering over the water. God said, Come, light! Wake up! Can you feel the light? God called the light day and the dark night. Then God said, Come, sky! Let's reach up, up, up high and touch the sky. Now, let's go down, down, swirling round and round in the waters below. Then God said, Come, dry land. Up came the land, the hills and the mountains. Let's climb, climb, climb. Then God said, Come, plants. Up grew the trees. Grow, grow, grow. Up grew the strawberries. Yum, yum, yum. Up grew pretty flowers. Tiptoe. Don't step on the flowers. Tiptoe. Then God said, Come sun, come moon and stars. Let's dance in the light. Then God said, Come fish! Swimming! 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 Then God said, Come birds! Fly! Fly! Then God said, Come animals! Can you be a cat or a dog? Can you be a kangaroo or a crocodile? Then God said, Let's make people. He made a daddy and a mummy, and they had lots of children. People can shine God's love all over the world. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Then God looked at all he had made and he said, it's very good. And God made a special day for rest. Now, let's sit down and fold our hands. Close our eyes. No peeking. Let's pray together. Thank you, God, for the world so sweet. Thank you, God, for the world so sweet. Thank you, God, for the food we eat. Thank you, God, for the food we eat. 
Thank you, God, for the birds that sing. Thank you, God, for the birds that sing. Thank you, God, for everything. Thank you, God, for everything. Now let me give you a few tips to help you get the most out of this listening activity. Now before you do the activity, the first thing you need to do is teach the story. And you can teach the creation story using a children's Bible or through Bible storytelling or through a picture book. Now I have created a um, story card resource for on my website and I'll show you that at the end. But first you teach the story and then you say to the kids, Hey, who wants to go on adventure? We're going to go on a creation adventure today and you're going to need to take some things with you. You're going to need to take your listening ears. Who's got some listening ears? You've got listening oh, Yes, bring your listening ears. We're going to need that. We're also going to need to bring our moving bodies because we're going to move a bit with this adventure. We're also going to need our voices. We're going to sing a little bit and we might even make some animal noises. But the biggest thing that we need to take on this adventure is we need to bring our imagination. Who's got an imagination? Yes, where is it? Yes, it's in our, our minds and our thoughts. We need to bring our imagination. And another thing you need to really listen out for in this adventure is whenever you hear a little tinkerbell, you're gonna need to freeze and you're gonna need to listen to see what comes next in our adventure. And then I would just get the kids spread out in the room so they had room to move. And then all at that point, I would just need my Bluetooth speaker, I need my phone, and I would just use my clip from my website or from YouTube, and then they would begin acting out the adventure. And that's how I would introduce it, but you really need to teach the story first. Now, if you have a group of kids that don't see each other that often. They may not be as comfortable doing this activity. So an easy way to do it would be we're going to watch an adventure first and then at this point you'd sit them down to watch the video that you saw from the beginning and let them know after we watch it then we're going to act out the adventure. And that might make them feel a little bit more at ease but you'll find the kids will be moving and wriggling and they'll want to get into it so that's a way to introduce it if the kids aren't real familiar with each other the other way that you can use it after they become familiar with this and i did this a lot with my grade one classes is i would say hey i need four or five actors who wants to be an actor today and of course they all want to be an actor but the front of the classroom would be the stage and we'd put the five kids, kids up the front and they would be the actors acting out the adventure while the rest of the class was the audience. And then after they acted it out, they would bow and everybody would give them a clap. But this became an activity, these listening activities, whenever we had an extra five or six minutes waiting for parents to come and pick the kids up from Sunday school or if I had time you know, during my day to fill in and we would do this because the kids love to do this thing over and over again and they love acting it for their friends as well. So that's another way you can do it. Now I have created a little resource that dovetails really well with this. I've put it on my website and what I've done is I have gone through and I've created story cards or pictures and the narrative and I've just put them on the back and you just glue it on the back and you can teach the creation story very simply using these pictures. Or the other thing you can do is you can download it and you just get a plain notebook and you can just glue it in and you've got your own creation storybook with the narrative right there and you can, that's how you can read the story as well. And it goes, like I said, I made it to go with the activity and I've put the, the song in here and I've also put the prayer 
so it all works together really well. Another easy way you can do it with this resource is you can get these. Now these are fantastic. They are display folders and you can just slip the pictures into them like that. You slip in the narrative and you can put the biblical narrative or you can put the Bible storytelling narrative that I have put with it on my website. That's another way, and I've even made, for my large classes, I even made a large version of this. And again, it's one of those display folders, and there's the wording on the back. Very simple. So I've created that resource for you if you wanted to download it from my website. You'll find it there. And if you don't have a color copier, what I've done is I actually just put the um, resource on a USB, and I went to Officeworks, and I got them printed out there because they do really good color copy. Some of you may not be able to download from my website and you know what, you can create these for yourself. The design program that I use is Canva and I'll put a link in the description and you can actually create your own story cards through that program and they have a free version, they also have a paid version, but you can do that as well yourself. Now I'm going to show you a little bit of what I've added to this resource just to get us into the story if you needed a creation story resource. What I've done is I've started at the beginning with a bit of narrative I'll show you. And it says this, Have you ever wondered how everything came to be? The earth, the sky, the sun, the animals, the beautiful flowers, and what about people? It's a very big question, isn't it? Today we're going to search for the answers from an ancient book. Do you have any idea which book has the answer to this very big question? Of course it's the Bible, yes. Now, what's happening in this picture? Yeah, they're reading the Bible together, aren't they? You can see they're reading from the very beginning of their Bible in a book named Genesis. And it means beginning. This is where we will find the answer to our very big question. Are you ready to listen and hear how everything came to be? And that's how I get into the creation story. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. The world was empty and covered by dark, deep waters. But God's Spirit was hovering over the waters. Then God said, Come light! And there was light, and God separated the light from the dark, and he called the light day, and he called the dark night. God looked at what he created, and he said, This is good. The next day, God said, Let there be a dome, I'll call it sky. It will separate the waters above from the waters below, and that's what happened. God looked at what he created and said, This is good. The next day, God said, Waters of the earth, come together over here. Your name is ocean, and over here where it is dry, your name is land. Land, grow up all kinds of plants, including fruit, trees, and grain. And that's what happened. The land produced all kinds of vegetation. God looked at what he created, and he said, what did he say? This is good. So do you see how this works with the narrative? So that's what I've done. You can also put the Bible narrative here instead. This is a Bible storytelling and I've kept it true to the scriptures, but there's some repetition to get the kids involved in the story. And as we go, it also introduces the song and this is where I would introduce the song and teach them a little bit of the song. And also at the very end, I put a little bit more commentary. That's how God created the heavens and the earth. And then I put at the end, and throughout history, millions and millions of people believe this Bible story provides the answer to our very big question. And then I'll say, let's thank God. And this is where I introduce the little prayer, okay, that goes with the adventure. So there's a little bit, and you can pick and choose what pictures you like, that sort of thing, but that just takes you a little bit inside of what the resource is on my website. Okay, if you like this idea, be sure to give it a thumbs up 
And if you'd like more simple ideas, make sure you subscribe. If you haven't subscribed yet, tap the bell and you'll be notified whenever I put up new ideas on my channel. Thanks so much for watching and may God bless you as you teach the next generation about Jesus.